Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back today for another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing. I packed this one for a 10 to 14 year old girl and it's inspired by one of my favorite movies, Out of Africa. I, as you can see, I ran out of paper <laughs> and I pieced it, uh, waste not, want not. I started running out of my butterfly paper and I didn't have quite enough to cover the lid so I finished it off with the yellow dot which I was also running out of and on the inside of the lid I used some clip art that says you are loved and added some of the butterfly stickers I recently picked up from Shein. I thought this was such a pretty print. When she opens her box she's going to see mostly her dress. This is a dress that I've gotten her. And I picked this one up at Old Navy on clearance. And it of course has a leopard print. And it's cotton and tiered. It's probably hard to see the tears on it. Um, can you see how they're sewn? There's a couple of them. It's really hard to see on camera, but it's a tiered dress and I will take the tag off. I left it on to remind me that I only paid 13 cents for this using um, some gap rewards at Old Navy. And this is an extra large 1416 for her. And I really, really like this dress for a girl. It's a nice shape. She's got a pretty notebook that is purple and silver metallic zebras. And oh man, I think I got that from Walmart last year for 50 cents. I chose for her a coloring book with a beautiful lion on the front of it because a lion is iconic of the movie out of Africa. I had a couple of these. I used one of these last year, I think, and I found this in my stash, so I thought it would be perfect for this shoe box. And it has all sorts of different animals. It's an adult coloring book, but I think this is level is perfect for a 10 to 14 year old for coloring. Her stuffy is also a lion. And this was one of the um, Gantz Webkins uh, collection that was donated to me by a collector of Gantz Webkins. And I love this lion. Isn't he cool? I just think he's really fun. I think a 10 to 14 year old would love this one. It's, it's got beans in it and it's cuddly, yet it's small. really cute. I put together a bead kit for her with one of the little containers that uh, was sent to me by Denise L. So this was perfect. It came in handy for this to give her a, a decent amount of beads and the beads came from Michael's Christmas clearance. Inside I gave her uh, two skeins of almost called it dental floss of embroidery floss and some elastic the skinny elastic for beading and I gave her blue and pink because the beads are blue pink silver and white with kind of a silver glitter in some of the beads so she has enough to make plenty of pieces of jewelry I think I also gave her, I should probably just keep this out of the uh, plastic, I gave her one of the really pretty Mandela mirrored compacts that Joan sent. These are so pretty. These are from Amazon. And although the Mandela patterns originated in Asia, I believe, these colors and this particular pattern just reminded me of something you might see in Africa. She's got a fidget spinner from Joan, and 
And I chose this one because the pattern reminded me of a tiger. Doesn't it look like a tiger? It's got orange and black colors in it. She's got a high bounce ball. This was from Linda Hitchcock. I gave her an orange one. She's got one of those nice mesh pencil pouches that we all use from Amazon. This one was sent by Angie. And inside I slipped a set of colored pencils. These came from Walmart after Christmas. I think I got this when they were uh, half price. I paid 49 cents for these. But it's a whole set of colored pencils for her coloring book. I always put in uh, eight pencils for the five to 14 year olds and I put in four number two pencils and I'll always add uh, the cap erasers to them. And then I typically put in four more decorated ones and of course I, I used the ones that had all the African safari animal prints on them and these came from the Dollar Tree. She's got three pens, a blue, black, and a red, a highlighter, yellow highlighter, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and a, another eraser, a white block eraser. So that's what's in her pencil pouch. She's got two pairs of socks, a white pair, and a coral pair with giraffes on them. And these were only 19 cents from Walgreens of all places. Uh, after last year's summer clearance, I think. And I gave her a couple of pairs of underwear. She's got a one, one pair of women's size small and one pair of girls size 14. I put together about six really nice sewing kits this year and I'll link uh, the video. I did do a video uh, what I put in my sewing kits for Operation Christmas Child. I'll link that in the description below. And I put her sewing kit in this cool, clear, giraffe printed Clinique cosmetic case, which was donated to me. And because it was purple, I added purple scissors and some purple packaged Dritz sewing needles, hand needles. She's got um, elastic, a yard of elastic, a couple of zippers. She's got thread, a measuring tape. And then inside these little tins, these tin, these are the larger tins. So these were from Dollar Tree. And inside them, she's got straight pins, uh, that, well, and buttons. This happens to be buttons and snaps. And the straight pins are in this one with some safety pins, a thimble, and some needle threaders. Much of the contents of the sewing kits were donated by viewers from my Amazon wish list. The black, white, and navy thread was donated by Linda Hitchcock, the thimbles by Denise L, and then the colored thread, zippers, sew on snaps, needle threaders, and straight pins were donated by yet another viewer. I think it's a pretty nice kit, a nice full kit, and I think she'll get a lot of use out of that. She has a set of reusable menstrual pads from Valerie Caron in these pretty leopard prints in different colors, purple and hot pink and black, and we have black and white, and traditional in the tan and black and these are the chart have the charcoal liners there's six of them and a wet bag and I slipped inside the package some illustrated instructions I found online how to wear and wash her pads and I laminated it hopefully owning a set of washable pads will help this young lady go to school every day uninterrupted by her cycle. I also included a bar of laundry soap and slipped it into a resealable bag. And I slipped a card in there that says on it, laundry soap. Just, 
just in case. And then I also gave her um, one of these little mini clothespin sets. It comes with some jute rope and um, they're perfect for hanging up her pads to dry in case she doesn't have something already to do that. I do like to include some sort of musical instrument or noise maker in my boxes and I decided to give her this harmonica. It's a wooden encased harmonica and it has a good sound to it. I bought quite a few of these at World Market and this one of course has, I think it's a cheetah on the front, but it could be some other animal. She's got a collapsible flying disc from Charlotte Arnott. I'm putting these in all my 5 to 14 shoe boxes, girls and boys. She's got a purple crank flashlight. These are from the Dollar Tree. Love those. I gave her a fun sequined animal print journal. And it comes with a pen, a little hot pink pom-pom pen. I felt like she definitely needed a journal if she was ever gonna write a book about her adventures like Karen Blixen did. I stuffed this pretty purple organza bag with jewelry for her. I think the girls this age really like getting jewelry. And the bag I got uh, on Amazon, it's like a three by four and a half size, I think. And she's got a really pretty purple beaded bracelet that says hope on it. And I added a purple friendship bracelet that I recently picked up on Shein.com and a set of a dozen enameled butterfly bracelets with the little crystals on the side and it's got the adjustable cord. And then I added a butterfly necklace also from Shein. And I added the butterflies to this box because there are hundreds of species of butterflies on the African plains, so I thought this would work well. I kept the necklace in the little plastic uh, bag that it came in. I did cut the card down so it would fit in this bag and I could draw the top closed, um, but I didn't want the, the chain to get all tangled up, so I kept it in the bag. So I think this would be really pretty for her to wear together and I gave her purple because I thought it would help brighten up her dress. Then in a bigger organza bag and a bright orange 4x6 bag from Annabeth, I put all her hair accessories and I gave her a lot. I gave her six hair elastics. I think that's six. I only see one, two, three, four, five. There's, oh, here's six. Six hair elastics. These were also from Shein, and I like all the bright colors, and if she can't wear them in her hair, she can wear them as bracelets. And six different colored little butterfly clips from Annabeth. And also from Annabeth, I gave her a little leopard, little metal snap barrette, and a couple of butterfly snap barrettes. These were from Shein, from a viewer friend, sent me a bunch of stuff in, in the mail. We've got some orange sparkly glittery hair barrettes and some purple enameled ones. She's got an ivory satin hair scrunchie and a couple of brown hair bows from Amazon. So she could wear that with her dress. And I gave her a package of pretty 
glittery red and gold bobby pins. There's 24 of them. I got them at Walgreens, I think, after Christmas for like 10 cents, something really cheap. So she's got a lot of hair accessories. Hopefully she'll be able to utilize them. I also gave her some nail files or emery boards in an animal pattern and a jungle print. And I slipped them into these two by eight cello bags that Joan sent. And I added a nail clipper. The nail clipper is from Amazon. The bags are from, from Amazon and the nail files are from the Dollar Tree. In another cello bag, she has a toothbrush with a cap and a comb. The comb was another Amazon wish list donation from a viewer. She's got a jump rope, a flexible ruler to add to her school supplies. She already has one novelty pen that came with her journal, but I couldn't resist giving her this funny pop-out bulge-eyed hippopotamus. I think, I think it's funny and I think she could get a laugh out of that one. I added some animal information cards. These animals are specific to Africa. They came out of a, a big set of animal cards. But I added them and it gives information about each animal. Then I slipped them into another four by six organza bag. Tucked into all the nooks and crannies, but now laying on the bottom of her box are these little animal figures. And she's got a lion, a chimpanzee, a giraffe, zebra, elephant, and rhinoceros just because I gave her some fun stickers that she can use in her journal that I think are representative of out of Africa. There are lions and zebras and tigers, giraffes, funny rhinoceros stickers, and then here are some really great ones for her journal. Then I also gave her some butterfly stickers that I got on Shein. And these are the ones that have the clear background or clear edges that they don't have white. So those would also be pretty in her journal. I think I gave her a dozen of these. Then the last thing in her box is a tote bag. This is a foldable tote from Ikea. And I got this one. They were on clearance for, I don't know what they were, 50 cents maybe, something like that. And the pattern reminded me, of course, of a zebra. And that's so she can tote everything home or possibly school books to school or whatever she needs it for. So that is my rendition of Out of Africa for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were inspired. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one. Bye now.